Truckers of Reddit. Since you have a height advantage over mostly everyone on the road, what was the weirdest thing you have seen someone doing in their car? Someone had stuck their big phone, or tablet, to the windshield at eye level right in front of their face. As they drive they were looking at the screen, and not the road. At first I thought he was looking at the navigation screen, but he was actually using the forward facing camera. My best guess is the driver was nearsighted and did not have his glasses. I never saw anyone doing anything intimate or naughty. I did see one lady with a paperback novel propped up on the steering wheel. She was reading as she drove down the highway. Worked with a guy that admitted to reading when driving long distance. He would hold the book just above the steering so that his peripheral vision could still see the road. He did not understand that I thought he was insane. I've seen Roadhead. Master Bashan. I saw a person with a small TV on the dash driving through Chicago, and the worst was in Louisville, where I saw the guy driving with a lunchroom tray on his lap and rolling joints. He was all over the road, nearly crashing several times. Meanwhile, his small child was in a car seat in the back. Needless to say I phoned the police. Thank you for calling the police. What a selfish piece of crap. Not a trucker, but one time I encountered a lady swerving erratically all over the highway. She was steering with her knee while she folded a large basket of laundry. That's some serious housewifery. You name it I've seen it. Roadhead. Masturbating. Driving son pants. Phone wedge between the top of wheel and center of steering wheel watching videos. My favorite happened about 6 years ago at the toll booths coming into NY from Mass. It was the Friday before Memorial Day. Big travel day. Toll booths are backed up and I notice the girl in Subaru next to me. Cute girl. Sunroof open so I see everything. As traffic is inching along she's within a car length of my window. I glance down as she does a quick scan and pulls a bag of weed out and starts discreetly packing a bowl below the level of her window. She gets it all done and leans down to rummage in the glove box so she can light it. About this time I decided to yell down and ask her if she was going to pass it. I scared her so bad she almost dropped the bowl. She started laughing when she realized I saw everything through the sunroof. In the last 10 years as a delivery driver I've seen, roadhead, both sexes masturbating, people not wearing pants, people eating bowls of cereal, reading, watching TV, makeup, reading the newspaper, esting tacos, eating pizzas, tons of boobs being flashed, rolling joints, smoking bongs, pizza boxes propped between them and the wheel, people asleep in traffic, handguns on the seat, and one hell 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 one in the states if you don't have a concealed carry permit you're supposed to keep your handgun on the seat open carry two incidents saw a naked old lady cruising down in a convertible one time for everybody else to see her nipples were practically touching the steering wheel and she was eating pizza grease was dripping off of it into her saggy boobs she caught me gawking and flipped me off saw an obese Hairy guy in nothing but his underwear. He had a hand fumbling in them and a pinky on his steering wheel. I needed brain bleach after seeing that. My cousin is a pretty blonde woman who married a trucker and had her license as well. When traveling on the interstates in California she'd often see in her side mirror young women in convertibles unbuttoning a few buttons or hitching up their skirts before overtaking intending to give the truck drivers an eyeful. When they were up beside the cab she'd smile and give them a big wave then laugh as they covered up. Not a trucker but a couple of weeks ago I saw driving on an interstate in Alabama who had posters saying things along the lines of Jesus is real, here's the proof taped all across the windshield and her side window. I have no idea how she was able to drive in a straight line because it didn't look like she could see out of the window. That is enough proof. On a cell phone, pinned against her ear and shoulder, open novel on one leg pinned under the wheel, folded newspaper open on the other leg, coffee in one hand, as well as a container of mascara, lid brush for mascara in the other hand, staring at the mirror on the visor applying makeup, at 65 miles per hour. Yeah, she was all over the road, not a cop to be seen for 10 minutes before she passed me or 10 minutes after. I just hope she didn't hurt anyone once she left the interstate a mile or so further on. Not a trucker, but saw a woman practicing harmonica, and that's not a euphemism. She was literally practicing the harmonica. Not a trucker but last week I saw someone eating cereal. 
behind the wheel, on a dual carriageway, at 60 miles per hour, just driving along and eating his freaking cornflakes. State of Pennsylvania probably wouldn't certify him as being without donkey brains. That's the law. This kid had made large signs that read do not speed and placed one on his steering wheel, the center of his dash and the passenger side of his dash. His parents probably did that. I was in the Army National Guard when 9-11 happened. We obviously stepped up our training after that and were on the road somewhere each month. Many women driving past showing boobs and yelling about how they loved the army. Thank you for your service shows T. Had a buddy's dad that was a truck driver. Said he saw a ton of road head and one time he saw a chick driving bottomless while masturbating with a very large dildo. Cause who has time to do that separately? I know I don't. Not a trucker, but I was driving to work in heavy traffic, and I look over at the car next to me. Guy has a laptop propped against the wheel and he's typing away furiously. He's using his knee to steer. He was my boss, a programmer. Well the code wasn't going to fix itself. So this flip side of this question, I was once a passenger in a car and we were cruising around a semi in the passing lane. The driver of the semi honked and so I looked up to see him holding a handwritten sign that said show me your hooters. 12 year old me was pretty traumatized. 22 year old me would probably flash him. Somewhere on an interstate highway in Michigan, USA, a morbidly obese woman, so obese that the car tilted left was peeling bananas and swallowing them whole without chewing. I kept pace for a few miles and she ate maybe 5 or 6 bananas in that time frame. Her passenger, an African American fellow, was taking massive bong rips and chucking pot smoke out the open sunroof and laughing hysterically in between. The sight of both of these odd characters had me laughing so hard that by the third mile I had to pull off the road because I was becoming a danger to other road users. This is definitely my favorite one. On the flip side, New Year's a few years back I was butt naked in a car with two girls, also butt naked, and we stopped at a red light next to a truck. I made eye contact and gave them a wink. Lucky. Not a trucker, but I had beers with one this summer and he told me a story. He was driving in the US, Michigan or Ohio, doesn't matter. He was driving some major highway, and while passing a pickup truck towing a trailer, both full of hunting gear, random equipment, barrels, pieces of wood, tents, etc., he notices something bobbing around in one of the containers. It was a dead body. The two guys in the truck had a dead body in one of the metal containers in the back. The lid must have gotten knocked off, as his limp head and neck were bobbing up and down along the road. At eye level, you'd never have seen it. You'd be driving alongside the truck and never noticed. But the trucker, he noticed. And, he says, he dang here crap himself. He got on the radio, asked for someone with local knowledge to tell him about the nearest sheriff or police station. He took a photo with his smartphone, several shaky ones, in fact, and pulled over to call 911. They didn't believe him, at first. He described it all in detail, gave the plates, and begged them to send a car. A few days later, he went to give a statement in the photos. The detective in charge apparently grilled him for an hour, then chewed him out for taking photos while driving. Nice. Honestly, it all sounded too bizarre to be true. But I saw the freaking pictures. Pale white guy, mustache, medium length hair, sticking out of a metal container in the back of a pickup. Hunting accident? Murder? Who knows? Truckers see some weird crap. Not a truck, but I do park and ride some days, and on the bus I can see down into cars. Yesterday, I saw one of Miami PD's finest, watching YouTube videos on the center console. We were on the highway in light traffic, and she definitely had her head turned looking at the screen. Be me off, when I realized she's probably written countless tickets to other motorists for using cell phones. I too am not a truck. Years ago, back in the mid 1990s, I remember my dad saying the weirdest thing he saw was some long haired blonde leaning over in a car and preforming fellatio on the male driver, only for the woman to sit back up shortly after and discover she was actually a slender male. I'm sure he had seen more, but that one stood out the most considering it was the 90s and wasn't as widely accepted at the time. 
I knew a guy who commuted to work via an interstate at like 5am every morning. The roads were desolate at the time. He told me he would play his acoustic guitar by sticking the neck out the open window and steering with his knees. Man I wish the roads around here were desolate at 5am. Or ever really. Used to drive a truck into San Francisco every day across the Bay Bridge. Women in traffic diddling themselves is a very popular pastime. Well they ain't getting any from their male program of friends. My friend once got caught fapping by a truck driver being able to look down into the car. I guess he was into danger wanks. Not a truck driver but my daddy's. Back in the day when he still worked on my grandfather's farm he was transporting some produce and passed a car going very slow on the right only to see the guy getting his gear shift thoroughly cleaned by his female passenger. Mostly now he deals with idiots on the road who cut him off or do other assorted dumb things. Why would she be boo? Op. Saw a young dude with two casts on his arms driving while a female passenger who looked to be in her 40s giving him head. Every thread. My bio dad was as a trucker. When I was in elementary school, I went on the road with him during two or three summers. I saw at least two people with no pants. Oh 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 scandalous. I saw a dude haul out his special purpose and give it a few tugs. He stayed next to me for like two miles. I got off the highway. When I got to my next stop I realized one of the other drivers drew a dirt rainbow and wrote in the dirt gay and proud. Driver likes men with mullets. Finally putting the event together, a prank war ensued, resulting in a 3 day suspension and a mandatory weekly truck wash. Not a trucker, but once when I was on a tour bus we passed a dude who had a freaking bowl of soup in his lap as he drove down the road. Not a trucker myself but I once saw big semi truck driver who also appeared to be in his late 60s drive with an oxygen line attached to his nose. The oxygen tank was sitting right beside him in the cabin. My first thought was, what happens if he runs out of air? People on O2 usually make sure they have an ample supply. Other people sometimes have an actual O2 compressor that makes the needed concentrated O2 out of the air. I used to work as an O2 nurse teacher at one point. Not a trucker, but I once saw a kid eating an entire roll of toilet paper in the back seat. Not unrolling it into his mouth like that bubblegum tape, either, but biting directly into it like a burger. Two incidents stick out for me. First one was a woman breastfeeding whilst driving. This was in the middle of Sydney in peak hour traffic in a convertible BMW. Second was three rather drunk ladies having fun in the backseat of a clapped out Holden Commodore. I paced them for around 20 minutes until they took off. The usual things such as mowing down roos and morons jerking off roadhead don't really rate anymore. Not a trucker but I ride a bike in Paris, France. I'm a bit higher up than most people. Not men a huge SUV here. So people don't really expect you to see anything. Loads of women with two tight skirts raising up in summer. And regularly males watching pee on their smartphone. And once in a traffic jam. Someone had her head on the driver's laps. I guess that person was sleeping. I guess. Till you shouldn't ever look into someone else's car while they're driving because they're either naked. Jerking it. Or both. Once witnessed driving down the interstate two girls in a station wagon hitting a 4FT plus glass bong. Passenger bent over to light the bowl down by her feet. Driver leaning her head way back to hit the top. Don't know if the driver returned the favor. Not a semi truck, but my dad used to do handyman work and we would drive around in his F350, which was considerably taller than most other vehicles in the city we were in. One day we were driving to the house we were working at that day and passed a guy who was driving while tying off his arm and injecting himself with what looked to be a H syringe. Not a trucker but I once saw a skinny white woman with a huge bowl of potato salad wedged between her and the steering wheel. She was shoveling it into her mouth with a big serving spoons as she drove down the highway at like 65 miles per hour. Not at all answering your question, but I recently read about cops riding city buses so they could more easily see distracted drivers, mainly ones texting while driving, and then calling ahead to officers to ticket them. My city has a light rail that runs parallel with traffic. You can stand and look into cars, 
We slowly passed a guy watching pee on his phone while driving. He looked over his shoulder when he saw the train and realized he had an audience of 20 people. I've seen a bunch of crazy stuff. The most memorable being a woman in her sub. Left leg on dash and going to town with a dildo. Jacksonville FL has some classy women. I once overtook on a two lane county highway. A car in the southbound lane driving north at 60 miles per hour. In reverse. The driver staring out the front windshield like he was driving forward. Called 911. Cops thought I was crazy until they caught up to him. A really fat lady completely naked laying down in the passenger seat and the car was going truck to truck hanging about alongside the cab for a few minutes. I saw a lady, early 20s, and cute, take her top off, then her bra, then put another bra on, and another top back on, she changed. This happened when I was about 8 years old, my dad is a truck driver, over the years I rode with him ever now and then. Seeing people smoking weed is common. Also roadhead. Late as all frickin not a trucker but once my friend had her phone connected to the bluetooth in her car and played me her sex tape in surround sound while driving. I didn't want to see it. Not a trucker. But one time while stopped at a light I saw someone on the other street shaving. The dude has shaving cream and a little bowl of water and everything. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.